You're watching A Closer Look. In this segment, we take a more in-depth look at how a Papua New Guinean mother has overcome enslavement, hunger, and HIV stigma to care for her children and rescue others with I Care For You Papua New Guinea. According to latest World Health Organization statistics, globally 650,000 people have died of HIV-related illnesses, while 38.4 million people were living with HIV at the end of 2021. One can only imagine how fast these statistics have increased in the last two years. In Papua New Guinea alone, an estimated 51,000 people living with HIV was reported by UNAIDS at the end of 2019. This is Sylvia John, a courageous and vocal woman who has survived life's challenges, a mother whose experiences date back to approximately 17 years ago. Me married, yes, uh, I got triple pigeonini, but last born him died, he was infected by HIV and stopped. I think you know, five years and I die. We had two pla, one pla boy and a girl. And I'm the third in the family. Um, third in the mummy, but me been separated. I've been five months older. Though me got problem, though one of them kind of situation, me stop. I'm kind of same, I'm reminding me of them. I'm the beginning and the end of it. And I got one pla Mary where man blown him all work to NBC. Man blame, I think last year, I've been die. Mary and Mary Rigo. I married to Papa on the tattoo. So Mary and been ringing me, and I talk to him straight. I know them. Me no wait. As soon as I'm ringing me, I talk to him straight. So I come kiss him test blow me na. Me turn out to be positive. So I'm talking me. You start low one plus half chill. Now I'm been come kiss me. I'm kiss me. I'm kiss me. Go lose me lo house blow him. Like all just open him this the house blow lo them house blow me. All three team me the best. If only like all immediate should walk in. They did that for me. And with all that, time me go through lo, this little heavy, now this little pain, me not look him immediate blood blow me. Me not look him outside. But God placed him different, different on province line, lo, life blow me. Lo sheltering me, lo provide him, supporting me. While daddy blow him and still stop outside. And enjoy him life blow him. And inside lo, this little kind of time, em, me just sleep underneath the house. And them all family blame. So time me plus sleep underneath the house and one kind of Me must walk him good or some housework blow tambuna. Me must kai kai. All beginning blow me too must or some. So all triple beginning ni blow me and this like experience. And me plus me plus triple me plus me plus come one them. Sylvia is passionate about creating awareness surrounding the issues related to HIV. Her story has been turned into a documentary titled Beyond the Island. Name blo me Sylvia John. Me come up as some slaver. Me work in housework. Me back I guy. It is a faith-based film that aims to bring hope and truth to the people of Papua New Guinea. Lo experience na me feel him all same. If me keep him silent, me stop all same. And me no help him na rapla. Because me save us them, he got plenty, plenty all got this la heavy stuff, plenty all got this la story and stuff. But because all limit him all yet, mine not thinking blow, all thinking most time me plus story, lo life blow me pla. Usad by helping me pla, oh, all by gonna talk talk lo me pla. So me want pla Mary where me 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 feel him most them time me story lo life blow me or me story lo experience blow me. Me feel him most I'm getting it out. I Care For You PNG is a Christian organization that aims to provide a three-month rehabilitation program to support women diagnosed with HIV. George Nita, co-founder of I Care For You PNG, sheds light on the initiative behind the creation of Beyond the Island documentary. So now this incredible vision to help this woman in PNG, you know, come and get this, um, you know, counseling and the life skills training and all that. But we had to make this, uh, make this awareness in a way that hey, this struggle is real. We need to let the whole, all of PNG and the world know. And then what's, what is a better platform than to have it on a, on a big, uh, big movie or documentary?
This was what Dagia Aka, the communications and marketing manager for The Voice Inc., had to say about the documentary during its first premiere in Paradise Cinema, Port Mosby. Um, I think Sylvia's story speaks a lot to her resilience and the resilience of a lot of people that, you know, do end up contracting HIV and sometimes eventually transitioning to AIDS. I think a lot of times people think that these people get to a point in their lives where they've given up or they lose hope but there's so much resilience and there's so much we can learn from them and not giving up and letting our circumstances define us and rising above that and trying to achieve the best in our lives and for me that's what stood out the the resilience that's that sylvia had to rise above her circumstances and just go out and, and be amazing george and his wife crystal nita who is the organization's general manager share the same sentiments as Sylvia. So starting from nothing, from scratch, it's been, it's painful. Pioneering is painful because you just, you're not at the finished product yet. So, you know, you're trying to make things happen. And sometimes, you know, it's just you and you, me and my wife just, okay, are we, you know, what are we doing? You know, just all these questions. And then uh, a couple of years, uh, coming into third or fourth year, it, things started to pick, pick up. And uh, we started, you know, getting our first staff, uh, staff um, Sylvia, on board and then just seeing uh, the need of HIV and that a woman that are living in settlements, you know, going through uh, abuse, uh, stigma, discrimination. They die from the stigma and discrimination before even the disease kills them. So that's where we need to come in and talk about the mental health and uh, just, just be there to, you know, point them in the right direction where we feel like they're getting the counseling it's very important and uh, also most of these ladies come with little educational background grade six grade eight maybe so give them some sort of a life skills training because most of these ladies they live in settlements so we need to give them some kind of a skill that they can go back and be you know independent and uh, be, be able to sustain themselves George shares the organization's ambitions, goals and recommendations. We want to see this place thriving with both houses here, both houses having at least um, 18 to 20 women living here three months um, at a time. They're all coming through referrals. Uh, we cannot just open the door and have any woman walk in because Let's be real, we won't have the capacity to handle any woman that walks in because, I mean, we're providing uh, free accommodation, uh, food, and just counseling and all that. So we just want to make sure that they come through a referral process um, and we have uh, designated uh, centers, uh, clinics in NCD that they come through. If you are, Because then we know that these women that are coming in are the real genuine case. Otherwise, we'll have any woman walk in because, hey, that's free feed and, you know, there's accommodation. So. And then we made it three months. It's a good time. It's not too long. It's not too short. So it's enough for us to monitor the progress and be more hands-on and see that, okay, if, some, if a lady needs longer than three months, well, then we'll make space for this is a case that needs a longer time. So we can, you know, do longer than three months. But otherwise, three months, it's, it's uh, enough time frame just to see where they are because we are a Christian mission you know and God's God's word is it's very important so you know make sure that we get the spiritual aspect of their life really in order because that's what's going to bring the real peace that passes all understanding. George strongly stressed that such issues deserve more awareness and counseling. But HIV, our people are dying from HIV and we had no awareness. So one of the reasons we came up with this documentary, we need to get this all over PNG. And, you know, if and business houses, government need to come in and pump money into this, we need to because, let's face it, if I'm not affected by HIV, somebody I know is. So that means we are affected by HIV. HIV is, is you know, it's, it's here to stay. With technology advancement and the effectiveness of media awareness, I Care For You PNG hopes to produce more films in the future to remind people that such issues as HIV still exist and it takes collective effort from society to come back fighting. 
And that's all we have for you on this week's A Closer Look episode. Join us same time next week for another A Closer Look episode. From all of us here, pleasant viewing. Good night.